UMass Lowell Hockey Riverhawks head to the north country of New York this weekend. A couple of games in Potsdam, New York, Clarkson University, the opponent. Joining us now, the head coach of your Riverhawks, Norm Bazan. Norm, welcome. Uh, nice to be with you, Bob. And I, I guess first let's start with uh, Sunday past. A come from behind 3-2 victory against uh, Bantley. First, uh, your analysis of the hockey game. Well, I thought it was a very mentally challenging game. It wasn't a flow game by any means. I thought the two disallowed goals uh, caused great delays in the game, uh, penalty shots. It, it might have been exciting for the fans, but it wasn't as exciting for the coach. Um, you know, those are games that you have to get through, and thankfully for us, we were able to uh, salvage two points out of it. Kind of a, a victory for mental toughness? It's a big vi victory for uh, mental toughness because you're going to go through some of those contests in a given year, but when you can salvage points out of it, it, it it's uh, a learning lesson that we'll take with us and we'll improve upon. Talk about being a coach on the bench and not a whole lot of fun, but right in the third period, maybe six and a half, seven minutes to go, you call timeout. What would you say to the hockey club at that point? Well, I, I just asked them to refocus and, and realize that there's seven minutes left uh, to get a couple goals. And I did believe we were going to get a couple goals, and it, uh, thankfully for us it uh, turned out that way. Since I mentioned the timeout and you're talking to the team and then they seem to respond, how much difference do you think during a game a coach makes? I realize you do most of your work during the week in preparing people, but how much difference during a game does a coach make? Well, I think you can manage uh, a lot of energy levels, manage some of the stoppages, manage a lot of things. So I'd like to think it's very useful to have a good coach behind the bench. Uh, however, it, it really depends the type of game it is. Uh, sometimes you, you, you let the kids uh, go out and make sure the shifts are crisp and, and uh, sharp. And uh, others, you have to really manage the uh, the referees and, uh, and try to... Uh, you know, change of momentum at times. Let me ask, you said manage the referees. Is that possible? Um, not really. It, it's it's possible to get uh, some type of uh, understanding of why they're calling certain things. And Hey, they, they've got a difficult job, and we know that. However, some days are better than others for them also. All right. It was uh, under five minutes to go in the hockey game. It was a 2-1 game. Steve Bucco scores. 11 seconds later, Ryan McGrath scores his second goal of the game. The Riverhawks have a lead. How important, and I note the goal's 11 seconds apart, how important is the shift after a goal is scored, either by this hockey club or by an opponent? How important is that next shift? Well, I think it's crucial. It, it can serve as a momentum swing if you just got scored on and you, you go and have a great shift or end up getting one yourself. And uh, if you just scored one, like we uh, you saw on Sunday, you can go get another one. And I think uh, it certainly can serve as a big momentum swing uh, either way. While we like the final score on Sunday, I suspect there were things you didn't like. So let me ask, what do we work on this week as we prepare for Clarkson? Well, we, we, there's many things to improve upon. However, I did like some things. It's the second consecutive game we've gotten the power play goal. I think our special teams were strong. I think uh, we need to be more physical. And we will be. I think after a break, you, you forget what makes you successful at times and, and how hard it is to, to play that style of game. So I, I, I see us being a little bit more physical, playing a, more of a stop and start game rather than a, a tight turn game. Um, I hope to see a little bit more net traffic early on in the game. All little things that uh, matter when you, uh, you play effective hockey. We head up to Clarkson. I suspect it's not easy in the Clarkson. Historically, it's been a good program. It's their building. It's the North Country of New York. It's a six to seven hour bus ride. Um, this is a challenging trip. It certainly is. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful hockey history over there in, in Potsdam, and, and we will have our, uh, you know, our moments of adversity, certainly. However, I like the, the, the test we passed here against Bentley on Sunday. Um, I'm sure we're in for some challenging hockey, whether it's in Potsdam this weekend or in Burlington, Vermont the following weekend. I, I like what, what's ahead. I, I feel that we're going to be uh, road warriors the next two weekends, and we have to have that mindset going in. One of the things I liked in the Bentley game, we scored five goals. Okay, two of them didn't count, but let's for the moment look at the five goals. One of them came off the rush. The other four goals all seemed to come off of hard work and that point of emphasis that we had mentioned, that you had mentioned repeatedly to this hockey club about getting to the net front and getting the puck there, whether it's from the points or from the corners. And it seemed that, with the exception of the goal off the rush on the power play, the first McGrath goal, everything else seemed to come from getting to the net front and getting the puck there. 
Yeah, good things happen when you go to the net. There's no question. The gritty area is uh, an area we have to penetrate and continue to do so if we're going to have success in the toughest month of our schedule, which is January. So we're going to look for more of those goals here in the upcoming games. Yeah, it's a, it's a new year, a new month, and it is a, an extraordinarily busy month for this hockey club and a month that is spent mainly on the road. Yeah, it's a lot of road travel. I think we've got, uh, well, we had 20 games left, now 19, and 13 of those are on the road. So we're going to uh, have our um, moments of adversity, and we're going to have to overcome those if we're going to be successful in January. I guess finally, what are the keys to the weekend ahead? What are the, the keys up in Potsdam, New York? Well, the keys for us are, 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 is going to be to keep improving uh, leading up to Potsdam, number one. Number two is, is we're going to continue to work on our habits. And uh, that's stopping in that front, that's stopping and starting in general, not circling. That is uh, continuing to improve our special teams. I like the direction it's going. I feel that uh, we're going in the right um, direction, of not just the power play, but the penalty kill also. So all those things considered, I think if we can improve those little points, we'll be, uh, we'll be fine. All right. Well, remind people, the Riverhawks on the road this weekend, Friday night, Saturday night in Potsdam, New York, against Clarkson University on the radio at 7 o'clock, 6.30 for the pregame show. And we'll remind you, Riverhawks will be back home against Providence. It's a couple of weeks away on January 17th, but you may want to make a note of that. Uh, that will be at the Sangha Center. Norm, uh, again, thank you very much for your time. Certainly good luck this weekend. Thank you, Bob. Happy New Year.